Hello guys, my name is Hamu, also known for So Bad So High, and I'm a competitive NRS player from the Middle East, more specifically from a tiny country called Lebanon. Now let's get started with this video. Do you recognize this photo? I'm sure you've been there. Well today I'm gonna help you to deal with the annoying character Jade, a character that many of you hate, but I think it's basically just Sub-Zero players, so... Uh, but before we start, uh, I want you all to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for anything related to the FGC. Let's go. The lifelong friend of Princess Kitana, Jade was first debuted in MK2 as a hidden opponent and then became playable in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. When it comes to her playstyle, Jade is one of the best spacing characters who excel in the mid to close range as well as annoys her opponents airborne. One thing, also you should know that Jade is probably the best counter zoner in this game, all because of her glow special. However, Jade is far from being the best zoner since the startup on all of her projectiles are relatively slow and very reactable. Her playstyle is really identified by the player. Some would like to play full screen and some would like to play up close and even some players could like to play with a mix of both. So let's get started and see some of her main variations. First variation I'm gonna talk about is the low projectile. And the, and the air razors as well as the Lias dance. This variation is very good because it allows Jade to play full screen very comfortably against characters who cannot enforce any pressure uh, on her full screen. Therefore, when she activates her glow, she could start her game. No one could threaten her from that far or mid range. So uh, the, the Lias dance is actually very important for her up close game to give her poke special mix-ups and for the restand uh, as well as it makes everything safe because as I told you earlier she's mostly unsafe with her strengths uh, so pick this variation if you feel zoning your opponent is gonna frustrate them. Second variation is probably my favorite one because it includes the pole vault yes the pole vault special is a safe special which is minus three or could be minus two on block uh, so it allows her to get in and then she can enforce her Delia stance uh, gameplay and I also have the air razors to allow her to space her opponent and get some plus frames and really play uh, from far or even up close. So this is the second variation uh, and it's the most versatile one. As for the third variation we're gonna talk more about the up close variations. The extended strings, as you can see, allow her to get slightly more damage for free and it pushes her opponents to the corner. You could even cancel them to the Lias Dance because they have gaps, so you could mix your opponents with trying to interrupt. This is the second uh, string extended, starts with the standing three, and that's the third one, which starts with standing four. The second special is the Air Razor, um, so it's really good in general. I'm not gonna talk about it. And the Delia Dance, of course, it really helps her up close gameplay. So I'm gonna talk about another variation, which is quite good up close. However, you have to sacrifice the Air Razor because uh, I'm gonna add the Pole Vault cancels. So we're gonna have the Pole Vault and the cancel, which allows her to really push her opponent slightly more to the corner and mix them up, whether with a throw or a, or a mid uh, or a poke into the Lias dance. All of these options are really there for her to utilize and carry her opponents to the corner and push them where uh, to the limit with her pressure. So uh, the last variation that I'm gonna talk about, it's very quite similar to this one. Uh, however, instead of the cancel, for the pole vault, uh, you could choose to have a nitro kick. Uh, a nitro kick is actually a really fast special that you can cancel from a pole vault, uh, and it's actually plus three on block. So, and it 
definitely allows her to carry her opponents to the corner, whether on hit or on block, uh, and to enforce her corner gameplay with her good ranged strings or even her Delia Dance mind games, uh, as well as the plus frames from her back three strings or the Nitro Kick. So yeah, these are the variations. Please let me know which one do you prefer in the comments. I'm gonna go quickly with some of her main buttons. Well, the most important one is the down two because it has great range, whether grounded or airborne or in the air. So that's a great button. Uh, another good button that she has is her back three, which is a mid. That's her main mid button. Also her back two, which is a great spacing tool. Probably one of the best spacing tools in the game. And she has the back one. Uh, this is a mid, so this works really well with the back two because uh, the back two is a high, you can actually duck it. However, the back one, although it's relatively slower, but it's a mid, it will always catch your opponent if they really want to just duck your highs. So it's really good. Also, her standing one is a really great button because it allows her to enhance her stagger game, uh, which is because it's plus two on block, the standing one. So she could do standing ones into throws or standing ones into pokes. These are all great things about the character. Uh, also, she has her standing two button, which is a really good button because it has a good string uh, and sometimes it chimneys the opponents, as well as she has a forward three, which is a good low. It works like it could be like a decent stagger and it has a continuation. Uh, and she has a standing four button, which is actually plus three on block. Uh, it's not a great button. Uh, the recovery isn't great and it's a high, uh, but it could work as a good anti air or even a good spacing tool. It's, it's weird. like and it has a continuation, so yeah. Uh, when it comes to her weaknesses, well, Jade is a very strong character, and thanks to custom variations, she was able to cover some of her major weaknesses, like being extremely unsafe on everything she puts out there uh, from strings. Uh, it became safe when she enhances a Delia's dance. So she had one big issue, and it got fixed really. Uh, after custom variations. So now uh, I'm gonna tell you everything that you can exploit and every string you can interrupt or flawless block regarding this character. First is the back one too. You could choose to flawless block it and do a full combo punish. And the second hit is an overhead. You could choose to block and just simply punishing it with a simple reversal. Second move is the her main mid button, the back 3434. Three, four. You could choose to up to it if your character can't really punish uh, with a good button, or you could simply flawless block it and don't waste any meter to punish uh, this string with a fast button. Or if you have a 6 frame poke like Sub Zero, he has a 6 frame down one, you could uh, uh, trade a poke on the full screen string or punish the back 343 three with down one and then you can take your turn comfortably. Moving on, uh, the forward 2 1. It's a double overhead, it's very unsafe, you can punish it with a good reversal, or you could choose to flawless block the second hit and do a full combo punish on that move. So, uh, another one is actually her 4343 three string. You rarely see that string, uh, it's flawless blockable on the second hit so you can punish. Uh, also, when it comes to her mid back 3434, three, four, if you duck block it, it's actually plus on block, you cannot interrupt, but if you stand block it, you could actually space it out, so it really doesn't guarantee her much. Another thing you can actually punish or deal with is her pole vault. Yes, it's a safe special, but if you read that it's coming, you could simply do any kind of parry that you have. Every character that has a parry can actually deal with this move very well. So take that risk, just try to guess. Uh, also, uh, when it comes to her extended strings, as I said earlier, they're all, uh, they have a gap at any point. So you could simply choose to interrupt whether after the first hit or the second or the third. Also, when it comes to her Nitro Kick, which is plus three on block, if you stand block it, you can escape all of this pressure and plus frames. And you could actually punish Jade for trying to take her turn with the poke. Also, one small advice, like her full screen presence isn't as strong as you think. All of her projectile, you could, 
projectiles you could actually see and react to. Try to escape all of this ch da chip damage because it will only frustrate her uh, and she, she wouldn't know what to do basically. She would be forced to get in, especially if she doesn't have the health lead. Uh, now, when it comes to getting hit with her 50-50s, the back one two or the back one uh, Dahlia Dance or the forward two Dahlia Dance, you could actually fuzzy those. Always block low first and then uh, stand block. So you could really escape all of that. This is all not real. And try really to avoid the chip damage because uh, it will really affect her negatively. She wouldn't find much ways to open you up because one of her main weaknesses is that her damage is extremely low, the lowest in the game. So don't give her any chance of hitting you. Uh, also try not to jump against her much because her down two will not miss. You will eat that down two. And uh, most importantly, sometimes you have to read her back two which is a high, so try to punish it uh, and try to react to the forward to overhead, which is hard online. Jade is a really good character, okay? However, that's not possible with just one custom variation. Many of you say she's top tier, she doesn't have a lot of bad matchups, uh, but, and she does really well, well against top tiers, which is true. She does really well against top tiers in this game, luckily for her. However, you always miss the fact that she can't win all of these matchups with just one variation. Some characters in this game annoy her a lot, in every possible way, despite the variation Jade players decide to play with. One thing in common that all of these characters that annoy her have is their capability of not just out-damaging out her. They can also outspace her and control the full-screen gameplay where she could get the weakest, especially if she loses a health lead. Also, uh, one decisive factor sometimes is some of these characters can really stop her from using her best tool which is the glow let's look let's have a look at these characters raiden for example his range is really good and his teleport is too good she cannot use the air razor she has to play the up close game this is this is her game plan so it's tough second is frost frost's down back two projectile it really stops jay's glow it stops her from jumping, and uh, Frost also has a great range on her moves up close. So Jade will really struggle to get in, and Frost can actually challenge her with the range. Next character I'm gonna talk about is Cetrion. Cetrion has a great teleport. She can really shut down uh, Jade's uh, zoning, and not just that, she could actually just get hits here and there, punish stuff, and run away with the teleport, which is very frustrating to Jade, and she could also punish the glow. Yep, uh, if she sees Jade doing the glow, she could simply do a down back four, which stops the glow, or she could simply do a fatal blow. Yes, it, it stops the glow. So, Cetrion definitely has so many tools to play this matchup, although Cetrion also has blow damage as Jade, but she can she definitely has the tools to play the matchup whether up close and full screen. The next character I'm gonna talk about is Kotal Khan. Kotal Khan, he has additional HP, yeah, and he does insane amount of damage. He has the sun, so Jade will not just chip him with projectiles to win. Uh, and also he has access to a cat, uh, which, which, which really works as a great counter zoning tool. And he outspaces her in so many ways. Another character is Scarlet, yes, although she's not that of a great of a character, however it happens that her tools work well against Jade. Uh, she could stop the glow, she could teleport whenever Jade decides to throw a projectile, she could react to a lot of things, and she could use some of her good uh, strings like standing 2 or forward 2 to play proper, to play proper spacing against Jade. Honorable mentions, we have Giras. Giras can choose to teleport with his clone and he can do insane amount of damage. He could definitely work around uh, Jade. Uh, similarly, Chang Tsung, he, has, he can shut down the glow, just like Giras with his hand trap. Uh, and Scorpion could teleport and he can be very safe uh, with his spacing and do good amount of damage against Jade. As well as Sindel. we have Sindel. Sindel can use her scream and her ranged moves to actually outspace Jade and shut down her glow or even any any projectile. Uh, last but not least, we have Fusion. Fusion also can shut down the glow with a wind push, 
and he can control the screen whether mid to close or even full screen he has these options so this is it regarding the tough matchups for jade although some of these honorable mentions are 5-5 matchups but it's very important to mention uh, them as annoying matchups in short Jade is a really strong character despite her low damage. You, as a Jade player, you have to identify each matchup that you're playing, whether you want to play it up close or you want to play more of a zoning uh, game plan, uh, you have to identify that. Also, you can check out all of the things shown in this video in the text version via link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment below with your thoughts. Hmm. I would like you to write down in the comment section who has the best down to in this game. And if this video reaches 100 likes, I will ask Dashfight to uh, allow me to create a tier list for who has uh, the best down to in this game. Thank you for watching guys and have a good day. Bye bye. Hello guys, welcome to this channel, this amazing channel. Do you recognize this photo? Because I do. Today's video is very spas. My name is Hamu, aka Hamu. Uh, <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. How do you? How is that even possible? Like, how do people shoot videos? I don't get it.